I believe that you can find this parable uh, Matthew chapter 25 so you can go there and read it uh, line upon line if you'd like to the way Jesus teaches me is I just sit down in my prayer time with him and I usually have a pen and paper at hand and he just talks to me like I'm talking to you and he teaches and instructs me and I listen and I record what he has said and so I have my notes with me and that's what I'm going to refer to so that I can share with you what I personally have received he said then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto that's what first stood out to me you know we're supposed to seek ye first the kingdom of God the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and so this starts out with that the kingdom of heaven is likened unto this so this let me know that there's great in-depthness here that I need to grasp a hold of and have God give me the understanding to know what it is that he is trying to show me here he started out with the lamps he said every one of the ten had a vessel that produced light and gave the ability to see in darkness the opportunity and ability was giving given to all ten to have eyes that could see in order for this to happen preparation had to be made in advance this lamp is an earthen vessel it represents you you are formed from the earth the light of the body is the eye. I gave you eyes to see in the natural realm, and to those who come to me, I give eyes to see in the spirit realm. If your eye is single, it is focused on me, says the Lord. The ten virgins all discerned the time they knew that soon the bridegroom was coming that's why they traveled to go out to meet him they appeared the same outwardly no one but the bridegroom would have known the difference in them they all slumbered and slept the human flesh tires easily only the spirit is alive and wakes to the voice of my spirit they all heard the midnight cry to come out and meet the bridegroom I give ears to hear in the natural realm but to all who come to me I give ears to hear the spirit speak even the deaf hear in the spirit and the blind see in the spirit he's talking about those in the natural realm who have physical impairments with vision and hearing they still are given when they come to the Lord Jesus Christ the ability to see have eyes that see in the spiritual realm and ears that hear in the spiritual realm I counseled to buy of me gold tried in the furnace and also to come without price but they would not hearken now the five wise said to the five foolish go rather to them that sell and buy the five foolish they took their lamp their earthen vessel they possessed the lamp but they took no oil with them but when they heard the midnight cry 
they realized when they went to light the lamp that they had nothing to be able to see in the darkness to go out and meet him. And the wise said to them, Go rather to them that sell and buy. Now they knew that this oil cannot be bought. We had an example of that in Acts chapter 8 of Simon who was a sorcerer who was bewitching Samaria by sorcery and he had come and believed and was even baptized. He believed what Philip preached about the kingdom of God and was baptized. And Peter was there also. And when he saw the Holy Spirit, people receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit, being baptized in the Holy Spirit, he wanted this, but he wanted to offer money to purchase this. And Peter rebuked him and discerned that uh, Simon was not where he should be with the Lord even though in the previous scriptures it had said that he believed and was baptized um, let's see where did I write that down Peter knew he was yet unjust and wicked bound with poison bitterness anger and indignation and he told Simon to repent but Simon turned around and asked Peter to pray for him that the Lord would forgive him and we know that we must seek our own repentance from God for ourselves but getting back to that the wise told them to go and buy see the wise received their oil from the Lord but the foolish went to see if they could buy and where were they going to buy but from the men of the earth the merchants the merchants were the great men of the earth the tradesmen where today people turn to men they go to seek from men be justified by men receive from men approval from men applause from men God forbid but they're men are teaching men how to speak in tongues and how to mimic and uh, impersonate what they have seen in the spiritual realm and the things of God sorcery merchants of sorcery for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived by these people. And then this is what the Lord told me about. The true merchant was the Holy Spirit given to men of my father. But they desired me not in the time of preparation. See, the Holy Spirit can't be bought. And you might say, well... Why would the wise have told the foolish to go and buy from those that sell? I think it's pretty much like today when we tell people, you have to get this for yourself. You can't go to heaven on anyone else's coattail, on anyone else's experience. To me, it was almost like sarcastic. They were saying, look, I can't give to you what I have. I had to get it for myself. I had to receive of this oil from the Lord himself. You have to go and receive from him. Let me just get back to what I wrote down. They went to buy, but he cannot be bought. They once had the spirit, but never remained full. They slipped back into darkness, heeding the doctrines of men. Having a form of godliness, they still outwardly appeared 
to be the same as the wise virgins that they traveled together with. The kingdom is of heaven is like a net which is cast into the sea and gathers of every kind. And then once the net is full and it's pulled up on the boat or to shore, then the separation takes place. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Man's interpretation of this parable says that they went to purchase the oil, and when they had, they came back. But Jesus told me that it is not recorded nor written, and neither did he ever say that they went and purchased oil. He said because they could not purchase it. My spirit was taken from the earth when I returned for my bride. That lawlessness would abound and great darkness and evil would overtake the sons of men. After I have gathered my own and prepared a feast and am married to the one I've long awaited, I will return in wrath and avenge my own blood, the blood I purchased her, my bride, with, the sacrifice of my very own life. I will pour out my fury while my bride resides safely within the walls of my kingdom with the Father. These people had gone out to wait upon and to watch for the bridegroom. And when those five foolish virgins returned, they found that the wise had already gone in and the door had been shut. And when they knocked upon that door, they were not allowed entrance. Jesus spoke to them for them to go away. He did not know them. They had waited too late. They had not made preparation while there was time for preparation. They didn't have eyes that could see. They had no oil, no, no Holy Spirit in them to be able to go out and meet the bridegroom. And so that's one thing that I was extremely thankful for yesterday. And he let me know we must stay full of the Holy Spirit at all times. We must never lose our first love. We must watch and pray for we don't know what hour he's coming. We must have eyes to see and ears to hear. And we must know that we have to have this experience for ourselves. No one else can get it for us. No one else can take us with them. The Holy Spirit is not given to us by any other man. It cannot be bought. But it is the promise of the Father given to us by the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the baptizer in the Holy Spirit of God. Jesus is that light that indwells us. His spirit can be seen through the eyes of men, the light of the body, in this earthen vessel that is indwelled by the Spirit of God. If you are not baptized in the Holy Spirit of God, I urge you to make those preparations now while there's time. Don't just travel along and look the part, act the part, and do all of the things that the wise do. But make sure that you are among those that are wise, that you are fully prepared, filled to overflowing with the Spirit of God, a light that is shining so bright in the darkness that when you hear the midnight cry, you will be able to go out and meet him. In the meantime, that you would shine bright like a city set on the hill that cannot be hid, and that you would draw others unto him. May the Lord Jesus bless you today. I love you, and until the next time, bye-bye.